Hey, this is Pam with Paint with Pam, the accidental artist. We are gonna, I just did an introductory video, but now I'm going to show you some stuff that I do and uh, tell you a little bit about myself. Let's try to zoom in a little bit on my actual painting surface. As I say, I call myself the accidental artist because when I started, I painted a lot in acrylics and um, enjoyed that immensely. But then I got hooked on watercolor when my husband was ill, was in the nursing home. And um, so I took a little tiny thing of watercolor uh, from the grocery store and a little tiny palette and the pad of paper that said watercolor, which was actually kind of questionable watercolor paper because now I have learned the difference. Uh, but that's how I got started in watercolor. I always wanted to do watercolor. It always fascinated me and I was always told, you don't want to do watercolor, it's too hard. <laughs> so right here I just have a little piece of scrap paper and I'm gonna just wet it a little bit. This technique is called wet on wet. Um, I like to do it this way. I've learned there's a lot of different ways to do things. And as I watch the different YouTube channels, I have some of my very favorite people that I watch. And I have learned so much by watching them. But I thought maybe some of you are like me that are kind of just getting started and not really know what to do. And when you watch online, there's a lot of people swatching colors. All right, well, I can obviously do that. I can swatch a color. And I like swatching colors. To me, that's really fun. Um, but you can only watch so many videos of people swatching colors, right? And then you want to get your own paints going. So there's another step beyond just swatching. And then I had to learn. It was a lot. It was kind of a learning curve for me. Um, the difference, differences in watercolor paper. Oh my goodness, I had no clue. I started with just a um, little pad from the grocery store that said watercolor paper, but actually it lied, it wasn't really. <laughs> it was more for kids, and I had that little 90, 89 cent paint set, um, which also wasn't super helpful. So since that time, I have watched and watched and watched videos, and I have learned many things. Some of my favorite channels are Mind of Watercolor with Steve Mitchell. I also enjoy watching Angela Fair, and I actually joined her um, community, watercolor community. Um, I also like to watch Jean Haynes. She's just super. And uh, I just don't know if who can maybe replicate what she does. Um, but she's fun to try. My favorite paints, after trying many different types of paints, are Daniel Smith. I have gone through a variety of types. I've gone through Daniel Smith. I've tried Core. When I was first learning, it's like I would see somebody painting with something. It's like, oh, I like that painting. I've got to have that paint. Or I like that brush, I gotta have that brush. And then I realized it's not so much the paint or the brush, although it does make a difference, but good paper and um, good paint, when it all comes down, down to it, is what makes the difference. I'm gonna put a little green in here. Now, there are different types of ways to paint. There is wet on wet, there's wet on dry, which is kind of self-explanatory, where you have a dry piece and you just put the paper, the pigment right on there. And um, you can doodle. I, I, tr I have tried everything. You name it, I have endeavored to, to try it. Um, when I first started painting, I thought, does anybody else feel like I do and do spontaneous paintings? Um, I'm kind of good at that, just, 
and I was like, I really need to talk to an artist that also does spontaneous paintings. I didn't know if anybody else did that or not. <laughs> but indeed they do, and that's kind of the most fun for me. So this is Wet on Wet, and I used my Jadeite Green from Daniel Smith, which is a, a granulating color, and as you can see, the granulation as it goes down, you see that? And it will make really nice shapes, which I thoroughly enjoy. So I guess that I just made a cactus. I don't know. What do you think it looks like? I think it looks like a cactus. I do larger pieces. I've been painting in my watercolor journey for two years now. Actually, I'm starting my third year. And like I said, I've gone through a lot of different paints. Um, Daniel Smith, Cor, Sennelier, which is from France. Um, I have some uh, Koi paints that I got at Michael's Craft Store. To me, they're not as good a quality. They kind of dry a little chalky in my estimation. And um, I like the finer quality paints that are more transparent and let the light of the paper come through and also do the little filter, uh, filter the light through the transparent paint. And um, I do have some favorite brushes. This particular one is a um, silver black velvet which I like. This is a number six. It's a number six. So it's for smaller paintings. I'm gonna lighten this up here with some water, just a little bit of water. And then uh, let's just give our cactus a little bit of sky. Oh, in the sunshine out there somewhere. If it's a cactus, I'm assuming it's gonna be in the desert. Now, why didn't I do my background first? Well, I didn't really know what I was going to paint. <laughs> Often when I come in to paint, I really don't have a plan. Sometimes I do, but not always. Um, and I like to watch the paint as it runs and drips and dries. So, um, I believe we have a cactus, a cacti. What you can do to kind of get the... Um, little indentations on the cactus when it's almost dry, still a little bit damp. I learned you can just put a little drop of water. And it'll kind of give you those little marks of the cactus. I hope you can see that. Let me zoom in. So you can see my little cacti. And you see how the water's running. And some of my red went down into my green, uh, which I didn't really want to do, but I can go back in with my green and just add some more. So we'll get that fixed up there. And like I say, this is just a, just a little spontaneous something little cactus, little spontaneous pain, which might be nice for like a uh, bookmark or something for somebody. I'm going to put some water in here, try to make some marks that might resemble some clouds. So that's just a little bookmark. I have done lots of different paintings. I really love it. Um, some are decent and actually some people have even purchased some of my paintings which always surprises me I hope there's not a glare on this no it doesn't seem to be um, but I'm always surprised when somebody says can I buy that and so I have done some commissioned work um, and I've done some um, I have a website as well and people can go to that and um, see my work on fine art America and you can buy prints so I have had people do that coffee mugs are real popular but my channel is devoted to those of you who like me are just learning and dipping your toe in the water so to speak of watercolor I love watercolor over the other mediums it's just a personal preference I like its unpredictability and I just love to watch the paint run and drip and dry and uh, see what it does because it will come out different every time so there's my little cactus for my very first Paint with Pam experiment today. 
So add some more red in there. So I hope you will continue to watch and sign up and like my videos. Uh, I know I do a lot on Facebook and I've had many, many people watch on Facebook. So I'll probably still continue to do those, but if you wanna kinda keep up with me, I thought I'd do this channel for some of my friends that are just learning like as am I. So here's a little, little cactus <clears throat> in the desert. Remind me of my trips through the, through the desert. So I'm reaching 10 minutes, almost 11 minutes, so I'm gonna stop now. But thank you so much for popping in and watching Paint with Pam, the Accidental Artist.